It's a spectacular, even breathtaking sight. A ring of fire in the sky. And for the first time since 2012, we in the U.S. get to see it. An annular solar eclipse. So what is it? As with a total solar eclipse, an annular solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. But unlike its celestial sister, the moon is at its farthest point from the earth. The result, the moon appears smaller than the sun, which is where the ring of fire comes in. Because the sun is never completely covered by the moon, eye protection must be worn the entire time. Regular sunglasses won't cut it. There are specially made eclipse shades designed to allow for safe viewing. To experience all phases of the eclipse, you need to be somewhere along the path of annularity. And this is the path across the United States for the October 14th event. Starting in Dune City, Oregon, makes its way southeast, ending in Corpus Christi, Texas. More than six and a half million people live within the path, many more within driving distance. And the closer you are to the center line of the path of annularity, the longer you'll see the ring of fire. Now, don't despair if you aren't in the exact path. While you won't see the full annular solar eclipse, you will see a partial eclipse. For example, Los Angeles will see a 71% partial eclipse. Chicago, nearly half. And New Yorkers will see 23% of the annular eclipse. When the moon makes its move in front of the sun, the sky won't be quite as dark as in a total solar eclipse, but the air could be cooler. And to fully experience it, you need a clear view of the sun and moon. But even if there are clouds, you'll still notice an eerie daytime darkness. Those in parts of Texas, including San Antonio, will get a double delight. They are also in the path of the total solar eclipse happening next April. So keep your glasses.